Guess what the most widely consumed psychoactive substance in the world is? Caffeine. How does it work? Well, caffeine has a similar chemical structure as adenosine. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter in our brain and it uh, binds to these uh, purinergic receptors. Uh, adenine is a purine, so that makes these purinergic receptors. So adenosine is a nucleoside. It has a five carbon sugar, which is ribose. Then it has this nitrogenous base, which is adenine. And together those form adenosine. So when adenosine binds to these receptors, it actually makes us tired. When we go to sleep, this adenosine will gradually fall off of these receptors. And then as we're awake, they gradually accumulate on the receptors and, and increase our sleep drive. So caffeine actually competitively antagonizes or inhibits the binding of adenosine to the receptors. So basically caffeine will jump in here and block them all where adenosine's out. So that will increase our arousal, increase our focus. Um, and caffeine doesn't have that, uh, that central nervous system depressant effect that adenosine does. It's just taking up a spot. Unfortunately, over time, the more caffeine we drink, the more adenosine receptors we make, which means we have to drink more caffeine to block these receptors. So you kind of have to increase your dosage to get the same effect. Another thing about caffeine is that it actually plays a role in increasing dopamine. And dopamine is our feel-good neurotransmitter. And it's also something that increases our motivational drive. Therefore, uh, that's another part of caffeine that makes it kind of addictive. It also increases another neurotransmitter called norepinephrine that increases arousal. Thank you.